All right, here go the highlights. It was a pretty good fight. Saucedo showed a lot of weakness in the middle of the ring. If Fredrickson would have kept him there, he probably would have beat Saucedo, but he kept putting his back against the ropes. And because of that, Saucedo was just working him like you're seeing right now. Again, in this fight, Fredrickson had a lot of success staying in the center of the ring, jabbing Saucedo. He really didn't have much of an answer, very flat-footed, didn't have a lot of body movement, not a lot of weaving, and was coming directly in versus coming from angles, and that's why he got caught a lot in the center of the ring. Here goes the punch stats, so you can see who landed the most, who throw the most. You can see Saucedo probably pretty much dominated it. So, yeah, I had Saucedo winning as well. But again, he showed a lot of weaknesses in the center of the ring. And like always at the end, here goes the celebration. Although Saucedo didn't look like he was very happy at all. He didn't look very excited to win. So, I don't know. This is one of them fights where maybe he's disappointed in his performance. Even though he won by a landslide on the scorecards, he still showed a lot of weaknesses that could be exploited. So there it is. Good fight, though. Good fight. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Hit that thumbs up and sub. Thank y'all again.